What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the stream. It is that time to finish our Panther playthrough for Splinter Cell Double Agent. This is the OG original Xbox version. However, I am playing it on the Xbox Series X because you can backwards compatible original Xbox games on your Series X as long as it's under the Xbox like backwards compatibility list. And Check, check. All right, hey, sorry about that, everybody. Um, I don't know why my mic just stopped working, like, literally all of a sudden. So I do apologize. Let me get this situated, and then we'll be ready to go. Welcome to the stream. Okay, everything seems to be okay. Um, it is finally time to finish up Splinter Cell Double Agent. Uh, this is our Panther playthrough that we've been doing to unlock Elite Mode. So next week we're going to be starting Elite Mode. So hopefully you guys will tune in for that. Uh, where we go through and do our no perceivements, like make it as challenging as possible. Is the least amount of, of knockouts you can do on the hardest setting with uh, minimal gadgets, of course. Um, this game, however, does heavily rely on a lot of gadget use. So we'll try to minim minimalize things where we can. But uh, we'll do the best we can. So I showed all the uh, recent subscribers, resubs, and uh, subscriptions. Thank you to all of you out there who are continuing to do that and making this channel uh, stay relevant and uh, be able to help us pay the bills around here. So I do appreciate those that donate, become members, and patrons. Um, you don't know how much you mean to me, so thank you so much. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. This uh, We have two final missions left. I know you guys are just as excited as I am to get into it. Decided to go a little early today. Uh, because I was already up recording some Red Dead Redemption and I wanted to go ahead and get this done so that way we can move on and uh, be able to uh, start, you know, the Elite playthrough. Um, I believe, yeah, there's two missions left. So we got JBA Headquarters, number two, and then the final New York mission. Again, this is the OG Xbox running on the Series X via backwards compatibility. You can actually buy this game uh, through the Microsoft Xbox Store. Uh, it's pretty cheap nowadays, so if you've never played the original Xbox OG edition, I highly recommend, as this is the by far superior version of the game. All right, so we're gonna go to mission and we should have JBA Headquarters Part 2. Uh, welcome everyone to the stream. Thank you all for being here.
Again, we're playing this on normal to unlock elite mode. Letting Hamza live caused you some trouble with Dufresne, but at least you had enough sense not to kill him. Hisham's a good man, and the mission was accelerating. Dufresne was receiving five red mercury devices. All of them were going to be detonated at the same time. One of them was going to be on the Alcost tanker to be taken into Los Angeles Harbor. The second was being choppered to Nashville, where the president was making an appearance. The last three were for New York City. But first, Emil smuggled the bombs into the States through his headquarters in New Orleans. While I was back there, I managed to sneak into the restricted area again. But I'm sure you remember that. Lambert, I'm back in the restricted area. Lambert isn't here. Williams. What's going on? Where's Lambert? Lambert's been captured. Dufresne got him a few hours ago. What? What are you talking about? Come on, Fisher. He knew he was risking this back when he started posing as Emil's new weapons supplier. What do I do? You make a choice. You need Emil to trust you, right? That's the point of this whole operation. To gain his trust so he'll lead you to the Red Mercury, while you conceal Emil's trust forever. All you have to do is plant information confirming that Lambert is a government agent. Then everything suspicious in the last few weeks falls on him. Lambert takes the fall, and you're in the clear. Or you could plant information confirming Lambert's cover. That way he might be saved. But it doesn't really help the mission, does it? You and Lambert started this game, Fisher. Now you play it. All the way. Are you enjoying this, Williams? You wanted us to fail from the beginning. I want the JBA stopped, Fisher. But when you and Lambert started this crazy operation, I had to watch how it played out. Here are your orders. <laughs> Steal a list of Emil's contacts out of his office. Lambert's notes indicate that it's in an abandoned bomb shelter underneath the warehouse. The schematics are on your PDA. While you're there, sample the red mercury Dufresne got in Kinshasa. I want to be sure we're chasing the real thing and not a decoy. Williams out. All right, so first things first is we're going to interrogate him. Now, <laughs> believe it or not, I actually watched my previous walkthrough video on this, so that way I kind of knew what I was doing in this mission, so I pretty much remember. I could use a little help. Anything, anything you want. Why is the JBA working with foreign terrorists? It doesn't seem like your style. It was Emil's idea. He said that sometimes you have to use them to defeat them. Everyone else was against it. But Emil outvoted you. What he says goes. So much for democracy. Obviously, we have to knock people out here. We're not allowed to uh, legitimately uh, take them out. All right, again, I'll be, you know, doing a lot of quick saves, just like I do. The whole purpose of this is just trying to get through the game so that we can unlock elite mode again. Oh my god. I got so unlucky because I took out the um I took out the other one first. So I guess what you want to do is you want to make sure you take out the light first. So take this light out. Just a little case of bad luck there. And then take this light out next. Then you can take this one out. Safe here. So we can't really do Panther in this mission, it just will not let you.
surprised. Get off, you bastard! Cut to the chase, Moss. What's the timetable? You're too late. It's already happening. I don't like that answer. Tough. Don't be so cocky. He might get you hurt. I don't care. Do what you want to me. The job is still getting done. <laughs> We'll wait for this little camera here to pass us by. Alright, so... I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it all to you guys. Um, what do you want me to do? Are we... This is the this is the choice. Either we're taking Lambert out or we're not. So what do you guys think? Oops. Here we go. Can read this here. Someday he may no longer be useful and then he will be all yours. So they were going to take Fisher out pretty much no matter what. Fisher cannot possibly be the traitor because he's not wired that way. It would be impossible for him to play a part, as it were, because he lacks the imagination to do anything other than what he is. Just a plain old soldier with no war to wage. I always just love this little mini game here. <laughs> You're like, no, no. Well, this is where we have to figure out what we're going to do. I mean, it's a tough choice. Lambert or the mission. If I confirm Lambert's cover, Emil might set him free. But then he'll still wonder who the mole is. If I let him know Lambert is a federal agent, Emil will kill him. Be satisfied. The mission can continue. I don't know anymore. I just don't. All right. So because we're going to be playing this game um, on Elite, and in our Elite mode, we are going to be confirming Lambert's cover. On this one, we are actually going to take him down because I've never seen what happens if you actually take him down. It doesn't matter anyways because Lambert dies. Either way, it doesn't actually matter. But for the sake of this Panther playthrough, we are going to give up on the guy that was there for us this entire time. Goodbye, Lambert. You're dead to me. Hold on, which one am I supposed to do? Confirm Lambert's cover. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to confirm Lambert's identity. Okay. So. Here we go. We just became the most hated man in the history of all that is holy in the world. I do feel a little bad about it, so. I became the thing I swore not to be. Feeling generous with your time. Depends if you're feeling generous about letting me live. Talk to me about your friend and we'll see. What is there to know? He's the JBA. His daddy died 20 years ago and he used the family money to found it. And why is he doing it? America's corrupt, you see? Emil's gonna use the JBA to start over. Maybe not the whole country first, but he wants to rebuild America the way it ought to be. And of course, he gets to decide what that is.
Not sure how we can get that guy's attention. Let's see. We're going to do a quick save here. Let's see if we can bring him out of his office. Yeah, but that's probably too much, so that's an alarm for sure. We don't want an alarm. Well, that's definitely an alarm. I did not see that right there. <laughs> Okay, so we can do it this way. Shit! <laughs> That's hilarious. We got another security access here. I've taken a look around your Mr. Sam Fisher. There's something very odd going on about him. His trail abruptly vanishes just before the mess. Apart from his conviction. Oh, look at that. Look, I, is that like a little nod? Apart from his conviction, Splinter Cell conviction? Uh, there's absolutely nothing since. I'd be very careful around him if I were you. I still I feel I do I feel really bad taking out Lambert like that but again we only doing it because remember guys right now we're playing the panther and this is not this is not my story walkthrough or anything like that that's coming um, that's coming uh, when we do elite mode so there's always a method to my madness I promise Alright, let's go and do this. Smartest thing they ever did was create these this type of hacking. It's so fun. I don't know why. I've been asked why there's no emergency escape from the Red Mercury Chamber. The answer is simple. If you need someone with you at all times to get out, it's hard for one person to sneak in and screw around with the stuff. And the last thing we need is someone screwing around with the Red Mercury. You don't want any accidents. Or another Jaeger. Alright, so it looks like the code is 1429. Now, I think, uh, if, I mean, it's been a long time since I've played Splinter Cell Double Agent on the 360, but I do remember liking, um, 127, liking the, uh, the 360 version of these missions a little bit better, because you were able to, like, uh, kind of look around, you were able to blend in more in a, uh, in a stealthy manner, like, you could, you actually felt like you were a part of 1429. You you were you felt like you were actually part of everything. Hey, what the hell? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I think you got a very very minimal time. You got to do this one two seven. Oh yeah, I remember. So, Fisher, 
Our spotters have located the Nashville and Los Angeles bombs. One is on the dock, the other is on the roof. They're being loaded now. You have to defuse them before they ship. Yeah, that's right. So I was so in the negative when I did this because I was being all positive and everything. A good Fisher spy that um, that when I did this before, Emil was on to me. So I had to like go in and check with him. But I've been more dastardly evil this time. So I don't think I have to worry about it as much. But we have just a, a minimum amount of time. Ooh, that was close. But we need to do this. I think I'm going the right way here. Okay. So the first one's on the roof. Alright, so far so good. One more to go. Always save when you get the opportunity. Okay, we'll use the optic cable here. Okay, let's see where this guy is. Don't forget to leave a like, everybody. Helps the channel to be seen by others outside of the community. like I was in the dark, but I guess I... I don't know. That looked like I was in the dark enough. It's hard to tell sometimes. Move it. Still there. Good. Let's 
see what I can do. Yeah, so that's tough. Um, there's got to be a place where I could stand where that thing is not going to see me. What do you guys think? Still there. Good. Let's see what I can do. I can probably just stand right here. Watch that, it's delicate. That's odd. Thought I saw something. Christ, sure can't you people do here. anything right? Security oh man. So we had that. That was perfect. We were just a little bit on the slow side. Now we know what we're doing. what I can do. All right. I really wish I could take them out, but Some help over here. You left this open. This is a meal. Something is not right this evening. I want Open's everyone here. on the lookout. Never Report anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> I love that. Forget it. I don't want to find anything anyway. This door's going down. Both bombs have now been sent on the way to their targets. That was close. What? Oh, I must have walked right into that without realizing it. I heard the little thing, but I didn't. Okay, I think we're just about done with this mission, to be honest. So, congrats, everybody. We were able to complete it, and now we just have the final mission. There we go. I do. I prefer the original Xbox version over the 360 version, for sure. All right. So, seven enemies knocked out and zero alarms. That's exactly what we wanted. Now it's time to finally move on with the final mission. 
And as you can see, we're still pretty confident with the NSA. We didn't do any of that. We didn't have to worry too much about, um, yeah, it's, I mean, that was pretty good. Here we go. I Keep those likes coming. Yes, you did. You believed the mission required it, and you acted accordingly. Is that how you justify what you did? This is where it all pays off! All the work, all the sacrifice! It ends here! And we couldn't have done it without you, Fisher! Don't thank me yet. Hey, Gaming Cube. Oh, definitely, uh, Chaos Theory is better, in my opinion. For sure. Boys down, man. Fight me. I'm serious. Fisher's around here somewhere. Some of bitch I knew he was dirty all along. Like hell you did. I was the one who kept telling you that. Zip it, dumbass. Can you just tell me to keep the noise down? Alright, so if I remember correctly, this is a pretty long mission. Cover's blown. Emil's instructed his men to kill on sight. Okay, Fisher. Plan B. Cleanup mission. Take them out. Every single one of them. The main JVA members are top priority. The others only if the opportunity presents itself. I'm sending other units, but they may not arrive in time. The Red Mercury devices must be recovered. Hurry, you understand? I'll take care of it. Leave no one standing. Including Enrica Villablanca. Leave her out of this, Williams. She doesn't deserve this. You have your orders. Either do your job, or I'll have someone else do it. You know, I never liked you. Fisher, it was you all along, you sneaky son of a... Think hard about what you're about to say. What do you want? I want to know where Emil is. He's with the bomb. And where's that? Forget it, you can't get there from here. Not unless you can fly. Oh, come on, Fisher, give me a break here. All right, so yeah, we're going to be killing pretty much everybody that we come across. Well, we're not not everyone, but uh, a significant amount of people. I gave him a break, I gave him a break, I sliced his freaking neck for a Kit Kat bar. I kid, I kid. Sorry, bad jokes. You'll be okay. Hurry. I don't think it has more cinematic cutscenes. I think they each have the same amount of cinematic cutscenes, to be honest. Although... It just everything is just better in this game. I think feels better. 
Obviously, it doesn't look better because that's impossible. But... Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know where the exit is. There's no exit in this room. No, there is. <laughs> I couldn't know where it was. Are you hearing things? Yeah. Not good. Let's just stay calm. Alright, like I said, we're not taking out everybody. We don't need to take out everybody. But we do need to kill the main members. Goddamn idiot brought a goddamn spy in. You got something to say, Sykes? You say it to me. Stay here and set the bomb. I'm gonna kill Fisher. No, you set the bomb. I'll go find Fisher. Not a chance, Washington. You're the one who brought in Fisher in the first place. Ah, hell. Listen, I know the guy. Maybe Emil's source is wrong. Maybe he made a mistake. And maybe we're both going to stay right here because I don't trust you. Deal so, with it. in the original, you actually don't mind Jamie that much. But in the in the 360 PC version, I feel like he's a lot more annoying because you have more interactions with him in in the JBA or uh, headquarter missions and stuff. I'm gonna give give Jamie a break. I'm gonna give Jamie a break. I'll break him off a piece of that. You're gonna die. Don't see me here. Please don't see me here. There's something strange going on. Dang it. I wonder what one I wonder why he even got activated at all. I had the door closed, I thought. See? Makes no sense. I think I'll wait until he gets a little bit closer. Do this, Sam. I wasn't gonna kill you. I know Emil has got it wrong. Actually, he doesn't. What? No. I'm afraid so, pal. But why? We were friends, man. I let you think that. You're lying, Sam. I know you. We bled together, man. You don't know me, Jamie. You never did. See. You're not gonna kill me. You can't. Hello. <laughs> I like how it says hello. <laughs> oh, the reason the lockpick animation was like that is because I kept hitting the wrong spot. In case you were wondering. Oh! <laughs> 
just so you know, I did screw with your computer. Fisher, don't kill me, man. I'm just the techie. I'll make you a deal then, techie. Tell me something useful, and I'll forget how much I'd like to hurt you. There's nothing I can tell you. We got the same briefing. You know everything I do. Then I guess I don't need you alive. Gotcha. That's a two for one right there. Was able to take out the light and knock him knock him down there. Hey, that's what I call a two for one. That's a two for. Alright, I know it's really hard to see this, but there is something you can climb right here. Uh oh wait. I can't do it yet, sorry. I have to actually there's literally nothing there. That's so game breaking. Let me take the bomb out first. I almost forgot about the bomb. Wow, that was just the easiest bomb cutting I've ever done. It was just one down the line. Sam! Enrico. I think we need to have a talk. You gotta hand it to her. She's got timing. Oh, so she did that. Okay, well that makes more sense then. If she's the one that helped us out there, then I guess that does make sense. But there we go. First part is done. Let's move on to the next one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Almost 100 likes. Keep them coming. It's really fun playing this game again, and I can't wait to try the Elite mode. Attention everyone, we are not getting any response from Team 3. Repeat, Team 3 is lost. Caleb? Yeah, Moss? Disable the breakers. You got it. Breakers disabled, Moss. Emergency lights activated. Team 2, switch to night vision goggles and stay alert. Assume that there are hostiles nearby. Sweep your areas and report in on the private channel. Come on. There we go. See, if you get it right, it'll go smoothly, but if you don't, it'll do like half and half, so... You know what? Konami is going to be a presence at E3 in 2021 uh, online. They they were mentioned as they were going to be there. So I am really, really hoping that they're going to announce something with Metal Gear. Either a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1. Um, they've already got the cutscenes for Metal Gear Solid 3. Why not do a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3? Konami is the only company that I would be totally happy with doing remakes. We don't need a Last of Us remake. We don't need a Last of Us remake. Yes, I'm going to play it, and I wish I wouldn't, but we don't... We got to let Sony know that, listen, you, every game you do doesn't need to be a triple-A budget game, all right? Let some of the indie developers, let some of the smaller developers make those games that they want to make too, but if we, if we purchase and buy The Last of Us remake, then we're showing and proving to Sony that only the big games matter, you know? So it's a hard thing to do because you want to play it. I would love to play a remake of The Last of Us. But it didn't need it yet though, right? It's only a seven year old game or seven or eight year old game and it doesn't need it yet. It still looks really good. I don't, I just don't understand it. But games like Metal Gear Solid 3, yes, that could really use a remake, even though it still looks good today. But just imagine the Fox engine with a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. It would be amazing, you know? And it's, it would fit. Metal Gear Solid 1 doesn't fit with the Fox engine, but MGS3 going, would Sam? because it's semi-open world. Wherever Mia lives, you know what I have to do. He wants me to shoot you. I don't think I'm going to do that. So what are you going to do? No, Sam. The question is, when all this is over, what are we going to do? When I figure it out, I'll tell you. I have to go or Emil will get suspicious. His team is on the roof. Moss is on the 68th floor. Good luck, Sam. Enrica. Wait, Enrica, there's one last thing. Can I get a kiss? Hold on, hold on, Enrica, where'd you go? Enrica, no! How did you fit through this hole? Why are you going to the janitorial closet? All right. If I remember this, this part's really hard. So we're going to be saving like quite a lot.
And I really don't remember too much about this final mission here. Remember, I only played the game once. So... I'll do my best, of course. It's all I can do is do my best. Thanks for the cover. Okay, who's the dumbass who set off the sprinklers? Ah! I'm wet now. I'd say, just a little water. Stop whining. We're gonna freeze our... Alright, so we have people with um, night vision now. So because of that, I think we really cannot Tell be in their line of sight at all. Out there. If you want, you can stay behind and get nice and warm. Yeah, that's real funny. Look at my objectives real quick, make sure I don't want to miss anything. Just to view the second bomb, uh, kill Moss, what about opportunity objectives? None. Pending and cancelled. Neutralize Moss's men. Oh, okay, so yeah, we didn't do the opportunity objective. Oh, I see. So we needed to take out those two guys in that room to get the opportunity objective, which it wasn't a big idea that we didn't. Surprise. Son of a bitch! Oh, you got night vision, don't you? Good guess. So, you gonna kill me? Let's have a little chat and see if it's necessary. Forget it, I'm not selling my guys out. They'd be happy to rat on you. That's their call, not mine. You kill me, I go to heaven with my conscience clean. That must be nice for you. What you gonna do, son? I forgive you. This guy seems like a nice guy. You know what? You're gonna get to live. I know we're missing out on that objective, but whatever. Looks like you can't take out that thing. Yeah, huh. Okay, and of course I didn't save like an idiot. best kill me. I know, I went ahead and did it. <laughs> he asked me to. I was just trying to give him his wish. Not coming. I thought he was coming in. Give me a hand! What the? Oh my god, there's guys just sitting there waiting. Oh, jeez. Okay. Another way in, or is this it?
that guy. Okay, so there is a guy behind there. Like I said, you can't just sneak around in this one anymore because of that. That guy turns around. Man, I gotta really think. What are we gonna do? Uh... Uh, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Uh, yeah, we could use the light. Let me see how that can work here. That's right, stand in the light. The light is our friend. I'm sure this wasn't open earlier. <laughs> okay, so we know maybe I need to shut the door and then we'll be okay. That's right. You need to stand in the light. Okay, so maybe he felt me, I guess. I don't know how. Um, sure. Oh, I could do a two for one. -y. How did that not do a two for one right there? Man, that's the worst shotgun I think I've ever seen. I've ever seen in the video game. No, no, what was the other... What was... What was the shotgun that, like, did no damage to people? What game was we playing recently that had a shotgun that did, like, no damage? Can't remember. Yeah, it was a shotgun. If you press the left, you're doing the shotgun, but it's not... You can't... I guess you can't get two in one. Shit. What was that? Oh, damn it. Yeah. Uh. No more stealthy strain. Let's have some fun. These pigs deserve to die. Where I saw something. Oh, there it is. We never have fun in this, right? We've been being so stealthy and all that. Why not have fun? I don't think we really need to worry too much about alarms. Who cares? I'm not going for a... I'm, I'm always... You know what? That's it. In this thing, I've always been stealthy. I've always done this. Even still trying to be stealthy, even while being a panther. No. That's it. No more. It's shooting spree time. Everyone is, is just... They're dead. Probably a good idea to refill a little bit of health. I'm always the nice guy. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Stealthy Strain.
I'm gonna shoot them with my shoddy Cause I'm not playing their game I'm gonna smooth to the left and say hello And then shoot them down And they're both dead now How? Alright, am I going up or down? I don't know Okay, clearly I'm going down. I'm going up. All right, well, let's just survey because you only have one shotgun shot left. I took too long. I'm so bad at, at being action oriented. <laughs> but I only have so many uh I only have so many shotgun bullets, man. I can't like you know what I mean? Okay. What was that? I think I saw it too. I don't like this. Get out of here right now. How do you there still see me? How do you the heck do you still see me? With your dang night vision on. Ah, this game is really just not meant to be played as <laughs> as an an action game I guess it's moving way too slow. Can't or way too fast. I can't see. There we go. We got it. Yeah, I know. It's so weird that you got to hide in the light. I love those. But then again, the second Splinter Cell did that too with um, Pandora Tomorrow, where you had to hide in the light in the uh, first mission. I'm telling you what, though, getting through this without being seen, that's going to be a challenge in my elite walkthrough. Oh my god, I remember this part. Oh boy, this took me forever to do stealthy. I guess it's a good thing we're not going to do it stealthy. But I want to interrogate Bra Moss, right? You guys want me to interrogate Moss, right?
All right, so if I remember, this is true. This is tough. I would say so. I died uh, literally. Uh, take the ceiling way. Yeah. It, like I said, I, I I knew there was another way around this. I just I couldn't remember. So what is there? Okay, you can get up there, right? I guess. I don't remember how to get up there. There we go. You got a question for me? You done with the strain? Are you done when? Yes. We're only doing the this final mission, and then that's going to be it uh, for today. And then, like I said, next week we're going to start with the elite old walkthrough. It wouldn't make any sense for me to tackle on the elite walkthrough after this. Because then people would be confused when I finish one game and then start the next. Alright, so there's Moss. How many people are there here total? He's gonna see me easily if I even thought about staying up here for too long. I gotta get in the light. Get me okay, so there's a guy right there. All right. I think I might be able to take him out from up here if I can get a good angle. couldn't get over there in time, and I was trying to get to the light as soon as possible. Hmm. So there's a second guy down here, too. I just can't see him. I'm gonna try this. I'm in the light though. I'm in the freaking light. Oh, thank God. I was about to save, but for whatever reason, he saw that at the very end. So, okay. I think I got this now. So we're going to jump down.
Give me some. <laughs> I don't know what sets them off. I don't like this at all. Looks like we've got. Oh. I'm getting closer and closer to figuring. I want to I want to take everyone out except for Moss cuz I want to save Moss for the end. <coughs> Hopefully he doesn't see me this time. <laughs> Dang it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's 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 think. Let's think. Uh, maybe I should stay up top instead of dropping down. What was that sound? What's going on here? I want to do a regular save this time. See what I mean? Um, it's so very, very weird. Don't drop down. Could try. Do I have, say, a flash? What was that? Like this. Don't ask me how that still got me. No, oh, come on. Because of where he's looking, I just don't. You can't be too careful. I don't like this. There's nothing. This is too suspicious. Uh, Look, let's just forget it happened. Okay, so I can get and sneak around him when he's turned around. Might be able to do this. I'm just trying to think. I'm also thinking how am I going to do this in the Elite as well. Probably going to take me a while.
You see that? I think I saw it. No more finger outside the trigger guard tonight. Nothing here. I'm sure there's nothing here. Dang, dang, dang. I'm trying to interrogate him, that's why I'm doing this, otherwise it wouldn't it would matter, would it? See what I mean? You can't get by his character. The way he's looking and stuff, you just can't get by him. You can't sneak into this area, at least from what I am seeing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like an automatic thing that just, as soon as you enter into this area. There we go. You gotta watch their eye movements. He does mix it up. He's not always looking left or right. Sometimes he'll look straight up, and then that's when you can do it. You just kind of have to be a little patient. Hello, Moose. Fisher. I thought you were keeping an eye on me. I've seen six-year-olds do better surveillance. So I was right about you. None of them would listen to me, you know. You had them all snowed. Emil, Jamie. Don't forget Enrica. Oh, I'm going to kill you for touching her. Good luck with that. What are you waiting for? Do it. You better kill me, Fisher. Ah! Hmm? I don't know which one's which. I can't tell. They're both looking really, really weird right now. Done. See, there is, there is something you can do, but how are you going to be able to do that if he's staring in there that whole time? You know, it seems like that's almost impossible. We'll figure it out, though. That's what we do, guys. We figure things out. So I promise you I will figure out how to do that in the stealthiest of manner. Obviously, we have to take all of them out because it's part of the optional objective. So we will have to kill in this mission, clearly. Alright, the final section. Keep those likes coming, everybody. Hopefully you all are enjoying the stream. Don't forget to become a member if you haven't. For $2 a month, helps the channel. Donate or become a Patreon. All those things completely help us stay alive during these times. It's getting tougher and tougher out here. Got a lot to rebuild back up here. Which I hope, uh, hopefully in your eyes, we're doing a good job. Trying to bring you guys daily content. I don't like this at all.
I didn't think, uh... I thought that the, uh, Kinshasa was a... Ah, what? I thought, uh, Kinshasa was significantly... Uh, whatever you want to call it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. It was significantly harder in the 360 version. I don't know if that's just me or not. You had you dealt with more outside in the um, in the 360 version, and you dealt with more. Wow. Okay. So there is. So no matter if you disturb him or not, there's a guy that's going to be coming out right there. So I need to hide immediately. I don't know if he's got night vision on or not. I took out all of Moss's men, so I'm not sure if any of these guys have night vision or not. We'll find out. 360 was hella hard because you had like daytime stuff. Um, I mean, to, at least in my opinion, it was harder. And everyone's different. Everyone has a different opinion on what's hard and what's not. Clearly, if he has a flashlight, he does not have. Come on out! I can hear you stopping around. Well, that's because it didn't do the right jump. Yeah, it won't. It won't jump up on there. That sucks. So what's... what can I do? I mean, obviously I'm just gonna take him out, I think, and just shoot him in the head. Well, I mean, so much for subtle. Could have clearly used, um... Oh, yeah, that was a sniper. Wait, I think I didn't use the sniper. I think I used the other part of the weapon. No, it is a sniper. I think I used the wrong one. Though. Remember, you always got to disable these when they're on the green. Making sure there's nothing over here. All right.
You hear the news? I know. No, L.A. just went down. So did Nashville. My fellow Americans, you are screwed. Even if they stop us from... They're not gonna stop us. What are we going to do with these pansies? Footsteps. What's the alternative? What the hell was that? This is not good. Looks like we've got trouble. No trouble. No trouble at all. me too. <laughs> I thought I was far enough away. I guess I wasn't. <laughs> oh man. It looks like we can go out the right or the left. That was the sound of your slow and painful death. Roadhouse. It's so weird playing the game like this, but it's also so fulfilling and rewarding. Hurry. Oh, I would have been better if I would have said that's the last sound you'll ever hear. Okay, Emil's men. We've been taking them all out so far. 
Obviously, we don't have to do this, but why not? Win in Rome. Give me a win in New York. Come on. Down! <laughs> as soon as he opens the door. I didn't save, though, did I? I did. See, you can't see where he is, though. Hurry. I saw something there. Get! What was that? All this so I can take out these two guys. Come on. My God, what am I gonna do here? I can't see over the thing to know if he's like right there. It's a game. Strain sometimes. Sometimes you just don't pay a chance to stray. What was that? I think I saw it too. I don't like this. There's nothing. Nothing. But look, just forget it. What's going on here? I don't know. I think it's nothing. You should forget Next. it. Those lacks are coming. Almost done. Do not move unless I tell you to do so. The next one kills. I want you to very slowly toss your. No reason why we just wouldn't kill him right here. Good. Now tell me, what have you done with the rest of my men? Go check. I'll wait here. Have you killed them then? Men who worked with you? Trusted you? Spare me the disappointed father lecture of you. From the beginning, you were nothing more than targets. And what does that make you? A soldier? A pawn? It doesn't matter. Goodbye, Mr. Fisher. No! Trying to remember. Okay, we got to figure this out here. I don't really remember what to do. Okay, I gotta really figure this out here. Uh, I did try smoke, but uh, the smoke, it just, it went too far. Let me try the smoke again. 
This one. Oh, yeah. Smoke didn't do a dang thing right there. And it was literally right in front of him, so he shouldn't have been able to see me. You can't, you can't roll underneath. I tried to roll underneath last time. I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, I, try, I rolled under the lasers last time. That didn't work. Um... Alright, so the flash did work. However, how can I get underneath those? I think it's got to be placed better. One computer I can't scan, huh? Well, there you go. Okay, we got it now. No, there's no prone in this game. One of you. You seem so very sure then. Is it because you simply don't want it to be true? That's not the way the world works. I consider your friend, Mr. Washington, who spoke so passionately on your behalf when you came to us. How many hours did you spend trying to convince yourself he was the enemy? Is he really? Or are you one of us after all? Shut up. Who is Sam Fisher? Can you answer that one for me? That's enough out of you. Poor Fisher. You can kill me, you know, but you can't silence me. Not now. Not anymore. Thinking of another question? You better hurry. Hesitate? 
sure what to do next. Surely you have the answers. Get inside, now! No! We did good, Sam, didn't we? Of course, Enrica. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry. Won't be the one to collect. We'll find you, Fisher. You can't hide from us. Watch me. I will. <laughs> I don't know why. Why does it, it it abruptly ends like that? It's kind of weird, but there you go. We didn't get the neutralized Sykesman, so two guys got to make it out of there alive, huh? Ah, <sighs> but we you know there was a time when we were just going around shotgunning people, so. No alarms reached, and that's what we want. Now we should have unlocked. We interrupt this programming to bring you a breaking news story. Yeah, this is the first game the without United no news States things. States narrowly averted catastrophe today as a three-pronged terrorist assault was foiled. Authorities were able to derail attempts to detonate atomic devices in Nashville, Los Angeles, and Manhattan. The identities of the terrorists are still unknown as no group has stepped forward to claim responsibility for the acts. FBI spokesman Herbert Mangles said today, several devices, which we believe to be nuclear in nature, were recovered before they could be detonated. We are investigating how they were brought into the country and are following every angle. The president praised the preparedness and swiftness of action of the FBI and local authorities, noting that they had saved not only his life, but the lives of millions of Americans. There you have it, ladies and gents. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. It's something you wouldn't think Sam would do. Even in that situation, even though they took him out, I don't think they would take it out on the soldiers that were ordered to do what they were supposed to do. Sam was right there with, with them in previous games and would have done the same. So I think it's actually against Sam Fisher's character to have um, taken out those soldiers because it wasn't their fault. It was the uh, it was third echelon sky. It's his fault, not the soldiers, not the splinter cells. So, with that being said now, you should, there it is, elite. So, you know what that means? Next stream, uh, next Tuesday, we are going to be able to start our elite mode version. Uh, every stream will be, you know, one, um, one specific mission. And the thing is, because of just... I mean, there's what, eight, nine missions? That means we wouldn't finish the game until eight weeks. I think that's a little too long. So it could be possible that we start doing, and let me know if you guys, what you all think about this. If we started doing two Splinter Cell live streams a week, so that way we have two missions that we can get done every single week. Would you guys prefer me to do that instead of doing just one a week to doing two, which means... Um, You'll have a little bit more Splinter Cell content every single week as opposed to just one video a week. So technically it would be like two streams and two videos a week. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments there. 
I think it's a good idea. I'll have to f find out where I can, um, where I can schedule it in. Uh, but I think we'll, we'll be able to, to manage. I mean, we could do two on Tuesday. We could do one, uh, at our normal time, like around one o'clock and we can do another one simply right after. Cause these missions, these missions aren't very long and the missions wouldn't take no more than, um, an hour or two because we already know the missions at this point since we just played the game. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe do two missions in one day. And then I can release those videos once I get them edited and done and they're all nice and pretty like. But yeah, so you got to make sure. And I don't know how many of you out there that are watching. Please click that notification bell to be to be alerted when new videos are coming out. Even if you're not a fan of a certain series that I'm doing. Like even if you're not watching the Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 gold medal playthrough. It really helps if you just leave, if you get in there, leave a like and leave it on for a few minutes. Let it play or something like that. It really, really helps the channel. And all we're trying to do is just get get back in people's good graces and in mind. You know, uh, we streamed on Facebook for two years and we stopped a lot of content on the regular basis. But we're back on YouTube and we're here to stay. And I want to keep continuing to do the best that we can. So um, don't also re remember that um, there are two extra missions on the PS2 version of this game. Um, and we're going to be doing those as well. I'm not going to be doing live streams for them. I will do a... I'll just put those two videos out. All right? Um, so you, you're you you're going to get the bonus two missions from the PS2 version. It's only in the PS2 version, I believe. You don't get it in the original Xbox version. So we'll be seeing those two extra missions as well. Um, and they'll be coming out. So I figure if we do two a week, then we can cut down the time it takes us to finish Double Agent. And then we can move on. Um, I don't think I'm playing Conviction. I know a lot of you out there would probably like to see me play Conviction or whatever, but I have done two walkthroughs for Conviction and I have no reason to play it again because I've done everything I could possibly do. The first walkthrough I did back when it came out, and then the second walkthrough I did just a year or two ago, um, where I tried to do it, just pretty much set up the perimeters just like we did here where I completed the entire game. We did it nice and simple. We are going to be doing Blacklist. Um, we're going to be continuing the walkthrough that we started. So we're not going to be starting from the beginning, but we will be continuing the walkthrough that we were on. And I'll kind of get you, I guess, up to speed on where we were. I think we, we've done about seven missions so far in that series. So we will continue from that point. So Blacklist will only have like four or five missions, I think, in it. Um, I know it wasn't even uh, it wasn't even supposed to be able to be done non-lethal, but we still did the best that we could to make it as non-lethal as possible. Um, the bonus Michelin Echelon training, I promise you that one was scary. Sam gets uh, direct. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't played that one yet, so that's going to be interesting. I do. I, I have played the one where uh, he um, he has to rescue his daughter. But I have not played the second one yet. Um, but yeah, so anyways, thank you all for watching. Just make sure you always have your notifications on. It really helps the channel. Uh, if you cannot become a member or, uh, you know, become a Patreon or donate or anything like that, that's okay. Just do what you can. Just either, you know, uh, share the streams on Reddit. Like, we never utilize Reddit at all. If, if we could get someone out there to start creating, like, a, a Reddit page for this channel and get it like uh where we start advertising ourselves on um on reddit that would be probably a really really good thing uh um and uh just you know whatever social medias you have some of you might be on facebook some of you might be on twitter some of you might be on instagram i don't know wherever you are and wherever you follow people you know spread the word of the channel get it out there as much as possible and we'll keep continuing to do these great stuff so again towards the end of the month the next game i think we're going to be playing on the channel is going to be returnal i think that comes out on the 30th of april um i also believe terminator um resistance I, or i can't remember what it's called uh is is a game that i've been looking into wanting to do and there's a new uh, ps5 version coming out so i might do that one or we'll do the pc version uh since that's going to be kind of in the limelight um, back again since they're coming out with that uh, uh, remastered version of it for PS5 uh, and then of course in the beginning of May we've got Resident Evil 7 or excuse me Resident Evil 8 and 
Mass Effect, which obviously, you know, the streams are going to be long and massive for Mass Effect, and we're going to have so much fun doing that. So I hope you'll be there and uh, stay tuned for those. We're probably going to be doing streams for Mass Effect, and I'm definitely going to be streaming and probably doing a walkthrough. So the stream will be for Resident Evil. Well, the stream will be in normal mode, but the walkthrough will be on the hardest difficulty setting, whatever that is. So hopefully you guys enjoy all the content that's coming up. Lots of things. Tomorrow is finishing up the missions in Hitman 2. So sorry for the short stream today. Uh, but as you know, uh, we only had two missions to do and we completed those. So uh, May is going to be a great month. Finally going to get ourselves back on the map with May with all these new games that are finally coming out. We might have a chance at bringing in some new viewers. And remember, when someone says they are new, do me the favor and welcome them. Be polite. Show them that this is a community that they can come in and take a look at and be a part of and just add on to the Sinister 01 uh, army because we don't want to alienate anyone here. Everyone is is welcome to come here except for trolls. Uh, but we just want this place to be as, as warm hearting and welcoming as we can make it. And that's going to affect, that's going to be on all of you out there. So when you see someone that says I'm new here or I haven't watched a stream in a while, give them some love, say hi to them. Just say hi to everybody. Just be more, um, be more out there right? You know, like, don't be afraid to say hi. I want, I want you to communicate with this channel more. I want to get to know you more and more. Like I've seen, I've seen JW in here the past few streams and stuff. So I've been able to, to, to kind of remember who JW is the same for Mr. Ozzy, um, who's been in here the past few streams as well. So I, I, I tend to get to, to know more and more people, the more I see their names coming up in the chat. And I want to be able to get to know pretty much all of you out there because, again, this is our community, this is our channel, and we need to make it and want to make it the best that we can. So with all that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow for Hitman 3 mission, or Hitman 3 playing Hitman 2 missions and finishing that up. Other than that, love you all. Please take care of yourself. Be safe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye -bye. Yo, yo, yo.